Hey everybody! Oh my gosh, so we um, are heading, we, we were at our trailhead, our little boondock spot for a couple of nights there in, uh, near Las Cruces. Nettie got a speeding ticket. That little road that you're camped on is 30 miles an hour. She was going. We were coming back from White Sands. I, I, I drove slow all the way on the highway back yeah. from White Sands. I even commented on it, saying, oh, I'm driving like I had the trailer. And then I got on that little road, and apparently I took off like speedy, speediness. Annette had just said, I said, man, we got here quick. That seemed like we got here really fast this time. And she said, that's because I'm driving and I'm a smooth driver. <laughs> and whoop, 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 <laughs> here comes the cop behind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so we're heading out. We went to the Whites. We stayed there a couple of nights, did some great hikes. We went to the White Sands National Park, which is awesome and beautiful. And now we're heading on, we're on the 10, heading towards Arizona. Um, we're not quite sure where we're going to be today. We have a boondock site, and, but we also have this uh, little RV park thing we're going to check out because it's right near uh, National Monument. So we might try to get there so we can go explore that National Monument. Chiricahua National Monument. So anyway, cruising along. Still cold down here. Trying to find some heat. It's only 24 degrees outside. 24. It's supposed to. Let's see what day is today. Tuesday. I think, it's I think it said this is supposed to be the last day of the cold front. It's supposed to start climbing yeah. back. But uh, tonight's nighttime temperatures are supposed to be really low. Gosh. But it was cold. It's cold, last people. Night. Cold. It's probably 18, 19 yeah. degrees. All right. We'll check in, let you know what's going on. We'll probably see Lynn in the next couple of days. So that'll be good. The next few days. Anyway. Yep. All right. Later. Hey, hey. We are at the Loves Travel Center in Lordsburg, New Mexico. You guys, Lordsburg. Which, of course to us, is very meaningful. It's a little town of nothing, but <laughs> it's our last town on our through hike, the CDT through hike. We, when we walked into here, which is, uh, it was two months ago, yeah. we had 86 miles left to go on our through hike of the CDT. Yeah. And then we ended up going all the way to the border and walking back to Lordsburg. So really, we finished our hike right here in Lordsburg. Yep, it was memorable. It'll always have a special place in our hearts right here. Yep, so cool. I just so excited to be it back. It was exciting just to drive into it. It was just like brought back all those memories. All those memories, and it was such good memories. And oh my gosh, I'm excited. It just makes me relive the whole thing again. Right. Anyway, we got us a sub sandwich. We're going to eat, and we're going to head out. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, so we decided to go with this uh, little RV park. We're in, um, so we're in right on the border of Arizona and um, New Mexico, right, right near Del Rio, Del uh, Rodeo, I guess, uh, New Mexico. Anyway, um, there's this RV park called Rusty's RV Ranch, and we are in the dry camp. They're full, but we're in the dry camping area, which is uh, 70 bucks for a week. We don't have plug-ins, so we're just using our solar and, and hookups. So it's just kind of, you're just parked here, but you have access to showers and laundry and water and all that stuff. So these are great, these places. And it's right here by this uh, National Monument, and it's a real big birding area. So they gave us birding maps, there's rock hounding, and there's hiking. So we're going to spend a week here. Um, Lynn's coming tomorrow, so she's going to come here too, and we're just going to hang out and then make a plan from there. So we'll take you guys on our little explorations around this area okay check in later okay so when we talk about dry camping it's just a parking spot there's not any electrical hookup but we have a we have put in solar and an inverter where we can actually plug into ourselves so I'm going to show you what I mean here in a little bit so here's our cord that comes out of the back that normally plugs into a, a little electrical box. But we'll, sh we'll show you what we do when we're dry camping, what we can do. All right, so we're bringing our cord up around to our battery box up front. So we have four solar panels on top, and then... Yeah, it's, it's hung up in the box. Okay, we have to get the cord out of the box. It's kind of hung up. 
Okay, so we've installed four solar panels on the roof. Yep, and you can see okay. part of them. So when you're in the west, particularly, you have plenty of sun. Mm -hmm. So um, we have our four solar panels. The solar panels come down and they connect to a charge controller, basically. And the charge controller turns it <coughs> from AC to DC so that it can be stored in your batteries. So let's look at the battery. So here's our battery. The batteries, they need to be clean. Like so we have four six-volt batteries. Right. And then from the battery, then if you want to invert it back to be AC, so from the DC you want to invert back <coughs> to to uh, alternating current AC, then you have to get an inverter. So this is a 2000 watt inverter. Um, and so what we can do... So the solar panels are charging our batteries, but we want to be able to use our electric right. outlets in the, um, in the RV, so we have to convert it over. So we've converted over in this, right. and we plug our plug in into this plug, and so it takes this power we get from solar right. and converts it over so that we can use our electricity in our... So we're plugging into ourselves. Right. Okay, so basically, so solar gives you a way to get free power, right? Um, but you have to be able to store it because you can't use it right as you get it. So that's why you have your solar panels, then the charge controller that converts it to DC for your batteries. And so when we're not plugged into ourselves, we use these 12 volt where we, where we can charge our stuff, our lights are working, yeah, um, that can, kind of stuff. You can keep your battery bank charged up. But you can't use the electrical outlets, obviously, because you're not plugged in. But you can't use stuff that's extra. Yeah. Like you can't use your TV or your microwave or anything you plug into one of your outlets, like a toaster or your uh, hot air popcorn popper. Okay, we've just revealed a lot about ourselves. <laughs> That's why we installed it so we could have hot air popcorn. <laughs> so then we came in, we took our cord and plugged into ourselves. Now we could go into the there, there, part of the RV and we can use the electrical there outlets. There are of course other ways to do this, like when you're wiring it, you can wire it up through your fuse box and all of that and all of that. But then when I was doing it, I was like, gosh, it sure seems like you should be able yeah. to just put in a plug and plug into yourself. And it so totally I works. checked it out with a couple of other RV or solar people and they're yeah. like, yeah, so uh, that's what we do. We love it. Here comes Lynn. The guy's bringing her into her spot. We haven't seen Lynn since August, I don't even know, 15th I think it was. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Yay! We like love it. <laughs> Lynn! Hey, Lynn! Oh my god! <laughs> Where you been, man? I got my wrong way. Woohoo! Lynn's back! I got lost, but I'm back. It's okay. Hey. Wonder Women. Wonder Women. So I've been somewhere. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> hey. Everybody. <laughs> Wonder Women. I'm so happy. Oh my god, you guys. Wow. All right. Ooh. So, yeah, I'm going to 